this is another video partially about my ex-fiance. She was Republican and religious, sort of. She disagreed with many things, but she was still very much under the control of religion and certain authority figures who imposed religion on her. And this is about a specific aspect. A couple of years ago, we were contacting each other online. We were, let's go with emailing each other. It was essentially the same thing. And we were just getting to know each other. And I must admit, I'm not usually one for crude and rude comedy, especially anything bodily function related. But I do have a bit of a soft spot for sex jokes. You know, I watch Two and a Half Men, still enjoy Benny Hill. Rest in peace, dude. Hello, hello. You know, the various... It's, I like a good sex joke. And... The first time I made a sex joke in one of these emails, she almost reacted with shock in her reply and condemnation and it wasn't I said nothing explicit I knew even back then that I shouldn't be too direct and that reaction just... I don't know, I guess at the time it didn't particularly register with me just how extreme that really was compared to what little it was of a transgression. You know that sort of reaction where it seems like the other person is really making sure that you know that they consider it to be really awful. Like, it's not a natural reaction. It's not for real. It's like they're trying to convince both you and themselves that this is bad and, you know, it's, it's excessive. And I responded saying, well, I like sex jokes, so, you know, I don't consider it to be a big deal. And her next response had her say a sex joke. And at that time, after that reply, I said another reply, and then, I believe it was eight days that passed, and suddenly I just realized it's been a little over a week since I heard from her. And then I wrote to her again, asking, you know, kind of just what happened. And her response included this story of what had happened these last eight days. And essentially, she had written a reply to mine after she had written a sex joke in an earlier email and then suddenly the power went out. Now this did happen sometimes in her area so she wasn't completely freaked out by it. Then a couple of days later she tried to write this response again, tried to send it again and I think it was the same thing that happened. At least or maybe there was trouble with her internet connection. There was something. And she thought 
that God was punishing her for having made a sex joke. And perhaps I should clarify, it wasn't that she didn't want to contact me anymore, but I don't know, she was feeling guilty about this one sex joke that, like mine, wasn't explicit, wasn't descriptive. It was essentially a, you know, a verbal joke, you know. A dub, a meaning, a word that has several meanings, and, you know, we were using its alternate meaning, the naughtier meaning. And, you know, things, we kept writing once I wrote back to her after these eight days. And the interesting thing is, after this minor crisis early on, we had no problems making sex jokes to each other, you know? And I would go so far as to say she loved making them, just like I did and do. And my real point here is that this was something that she really enjoyed. And there was no real reason for her not to do it. But because of this religion, because of the fear that had been a shroud over her entire childhood and adolescence, she thought that these two random events were punishment for a single minor joke. A victimless crime, if you could even call it a crime, I responded positively to the joke. You know, there was no reason for her to feel bad. It was just the Puritanism and the whole Big Brother aspect of the idea of God as an omniscient, omniscient being. You know, the idea that he sees what you're doing, even if it doesn't affect anyone, even if you're doing it by yourself, where no one can know, no one will ever find out, it still bothers God. And I suppose there are aspects where even if people are doing it by themselves, even if it doesn't seem like it might hurt someone they still shouldn't do it, but sex jokes is not one of them. You know, it 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 only made her feel more guilty. I mean, I don't even know how many times over the many years before I met her where she's felt bad about, you know, wanting to make jokes like that, and there's no reason to. And this is one of the things that come from at least the monotheistic religions, and it really doesn't have to. We can get people to do The right thing sounds so darn corny, but, you know, get 
them to not hurt other people, get them to be constructive in their behavior without threatening them and without taking away things that genuinely do not affect anyone. Yeah, that's it for this one. See you next time.